Hey everyone, right, here's that design set that I did the other day. It is inspired by Nails by Avon. Um, my client brought it and my first reaction was, not a fucking chance. Um, God, the skill level that goes into this set is insane. Can't guarantee you're going to see it all today. Um, literally just getting my knife in and cutting the crap out of that acrylic and praying that it files out. Um, it wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done, especially when I'm looking at the clock thinking, fuck, I've got to do the school run. But, you know, we went with it. They took me, um, just over two and a half hours. We fully sculpted the base layers. And then there was two nails that had like a cutout design on it. This one, what is it, like diamonds? There's probably a technical name for it. Like a checkered-y, diamond-y thing um so we did that what I'm doing is I've got a craft knife um and I'm putting on my beads of acrylic this one what color was this oh this is um glam and glitz's blend collection and it's called um cute as a button so I thought you know I looked at the picture and I was like how has she done this this is bloody witchcraft what has she done um so i figured the easiest way was going to be to put on a bead of acrylic waiting for it to you know patting it down so that i'm leaving a wall once i get my craft knife in and cut in those diamonds um just making one cut once they made one cut move it away if you go in and try and do more it kind of gets a bit jagged and that kind of happened to me so you'll see that in a minute here we got is Glam and Glitz's blend collection. It's out of the blue, the same as which I used the other day. Um, I'm doing a full nail of it here, and then I at the end I do a matte top coat, and it's gonna have lots of crystals. So, like I said the other day, cuticles, put that bead on, get behind the bead, make sure your cuticle area is nice and neat, wipe down the side, you'll see it now. Get behind the bead, tap, 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 wipe down the side, tap, tap, wipe down the side. The center of the nail, that can just be painted down. Glam and Glitz is so pigmented that you can use it just like a paint. Just wipe it straight down the middle. And if you haven't got enough product, go in and pop a little bit more. But just make sure those cuticles and sidewalls are flush and neat before you worry about anything else. Now here I'm popping a little bit of sparkle. Any glitters that you see me use are always gonna be from Glitterati Nails. If you go on their website, um, in the coupon section, you can just type my name with a capital K and you'll get a little discount. On this nail, I'm putting 002 um, holographic pink and holographic shards in pink also. Um, that's the glitters that I use on this whole set. I like using the 002 because they're so fine. If I use them with a small amount of clear acrylic, it will just wash on and it just, you know, it just kind of paints on. They're really, really easy to use, not too chunky. Um, I think I'm going back to my crazy nail in a minute. It really was, it was quite difficult to do um, that middle nail. I'm um, just, because I never knew how it was gonna turn out, I kind of had to just run with it and hope for the best. Um, but we'll, we'll go over it a bit in a minute. The main thing was to make sure that those center diamonds were as neat as I could get them. And again, like all color blocking, I just keep going up and pushing into the next one, pushing in the color um, and cutting out the design. So this nail, we decided to do a simple ombre nail because there was so much going on with the cutout designs on both hands. I The only way that I agreed to do this um, set was if we kept a lot of the other ones simple. It's quite hard to rein Ellie in, but she agreed to it in the end. So we've just done an ombre design. Um, the bottom of it is from the Naked Collection. It's called Keep It Casual. And from the Cuticle, it's Colourpop Collection and it's Barefoot. We just put a few crystals on at the end just to let the design flow because the ring finger, again, a nice simple nail, but with lots of crystals. And this one is a simple design element with a few crystals.
So on that thumb, again, it was the 002 holographic pink and the holographic pink shards. So back to the beast of a nail. This one is out of the blue that I'm pushing up to that previous um, acrylic, which was cute as a button. So two of the sides of this diamond are already done. So I go in and I pop a bit of my acrylic, waiting for it to slightly cool so it can hold its shape. And then going in with my um, craft knife, just doing two clean cuts to hopefully make a diamond. Now, like I say, this design, it did go a little bit wrong. Um, people said they couldn't see it. I could see it. And you will probably see it. Um, when I filed it out, I kind of filed too much. Um, and you could see... The, oh, you, you, what was there? It was like some of the grey wasn't there. So do you know what I did? You'll see it on my picture now. Now that I point it out, you will see it. On one of the diamonds, there was a slightly darker patch. Um, that was because when I filed it out, I started to see a bit of the pink, um, which where I've cut it and moved away, I must have left a little bit of the pink. So when I filed down, it was there. So what I did, I found a gel polish that was pretty similar and just touched it up, give it a bit of a touch up. Um, Ellie was happy with it. I wasn't happy with it obviously. Um, but I think it's fair to tell everybody that I kind of made a little fuck up. Um, but we're in a human. It will annoy me probably forever. And I'll, I will do this set again. But it's one of those ones where you just have to keep going with it, making clean cuts, pulling it away, trying to keep the base nail as clean as I could. I didn't. And that's what came back to bite me on the ass. So you will see it, but you just got to keep running with these sort of designs and pray that it files out um, at the end. And to be fair, I was pretty happy with it, but it could have been better. So I'm going to cap my designs now in CJP's Crystal Glass. I love this powder. All of my design work gets sandwiched between this. It has no choice. So I sculpt my bases in Crystal Glass and I cap them in Crystal Glass. I'm also using CJP's Big Boy Brush. It is my favourite. I love a massive brush. Um, people, you know, I spoke to a few of my students, they'd be like, oh, got a big brush I'm so scared don't be scared they're really good um and I try and describe it as a car if you have a car and you fill it with a full tank of fuel you're gonna go further so with my big brush I can pick up tiny beads I can pick medium beads I can pick up larger beads and it all depends on the angle of my brush. I always pick up the same amount of manama and it just means that I'm not gonna dry those beads when I'm doing crazy design sets. I'm not gonna dry this big bead out 
every time I touch it, I feed it. I feed it with fuel so I can go further and longer on my journey. Does that make sense? I hope so. I also don't wipe my brush very much. That freaks a lot of people out. Um, But I don't tend to, like, fuck it up or anything. Um, But I also find if I put on my acrylic and then... If I just keep wiping my brush, if I wipe my brush and touch my bead, but that's how we're trained, aren't we? We're we're taught to put on your bead, clean your brush, touch your bead, clean your brush, touch your bead, clean your brush. But every time you do that, you touch your bead, you dry your brush. You touch your bead, you dry your brush. When really, you're touching the bead, drying the brush, and then drying your bead. Every time you're touching it, you are drying it. So keep that brush full of fuel, monomer, and keep feeding that bead. Keep feeding it, and the the big, big beads are going to go further. You can go longer. It will keep your designs nice and flush, and like fluid, and flat, and thin, and yeah can you tell I really really like the CJP big brush boy brush (laughs) I hope it makes sense it does in my head anyway right back to this bugger of a nail for the sides of it, any space that was left is going to be keep it casual. Again, that's the Naked Collection from Glam and Glitz. Um, and then we just pray that it files out and you will see everything that goes on. I'm going to let you just continue to watch this video. Um, you'll see me file it out. You'll see my design. You'll see it come through. It does come through. Um, and then I've left in where I add the Zorowskis to that ring finger. I, I've, I've used some pointed backed ones and all I do on that one is I set them into clear acrylic and the little crystals that go around it I use the Kiara Sky dip base that is an air drying um, glue nothing else to do with it so I just pop it on in small areas and just add as I go um, just yeah good luck if anybody has a go at this I'd love to see it so just tag me I'd love to see it um, And hopefully you've really enjoyed watching this video. Um, If you have, can you just like give me a subscribe? That would be really, really nice. Or a thumbs up or some comments again. I love reading them. So thank you. Thank you for everyone being really, really nice. Um, I've got to go do my nails now. I've just had an amazing delivery of, um, well, it's something quite special. Can you remember the holographic pink off my Instagram? If nobody knows about my Instagram, I'll leave the link for that in the description box. But um, there was a holographic pink chrome and, oh my God, it's beautiful. Anyway, I requested something and it arrived today. So I'm going to do a video for that for you now. Okay. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, and I'll see you soon. Well, I won't. Um, well, you'll see me. I won't see you. But yay, you know what I mean? Thanks.